Hey everyone, I'm Joshua Oro, the Mustang Prince, and welcome to Mustang Prince Oral Reports. You know, it's been about over a year since I looked at a Hanna-Barbera related movie, and while I am hoping to blog Scoob this October, and Tom and Jerry's upcoming live action film is being pushed to next March, why don't I talk about a character that I haven't really watched a lot as a kid? Yogi Bear. For those who don't know, this series centers around the misadventures of a smart forest-dwelling bear in Jellystone Park, who would often try to steal picnic baskets while evading Ranger Smith. The reason why Yogi Bear didn't really leave too much of an impact on me as a kid is because, believe it or not, this series was difficult to find on TV. But I'm sure it must have aired on Boomerang. However, several years ago, I did see a few Yogi Bear related films on TV, as well as home media and online, like... I did see Hey There, It's Yogi Bear, along with Yogi's First Christmas, and Yogi the Easter Bear. However, for today's episode, I'm going to look at Yogi Bear's live-action theatrical movie. So, let's get started. Released on December 17th, 2010, the movie is Yogi Bear. So, let's get started. Yogi and his sidekick Boo Boo are Jellystone Park's most notorious troublemakers, hatching countless schemes to steal picnic baskets from park visitors. Standing in the way of picnic perfection is their long-suffering nemesis, Ranger Smith. But, when Mayor Brown announces his plans to sell Jellystone Park to loggers, Yogi, Boo Boo, and Ranger Smith must join forces to save their beloved campground from closing forever. So, what do I personally think of this movie? Well, after I saw this movie in theaters with my grandmother and my goddaughter Elizabeth, I thought to myself that it was a fun film and it was entertaining, but on the other hand, it still could have been a lot better. But let's move on to Mustang Notes. In October 2008, it was confirmed that a live-action slash computer-animated Yogi Bear film was in the works. Ash Brannon was hired to direct the film, but he was replaced by Eric Breving, who previously directed Journey to the Center of the Earth in 3D, when it was decided that the film would be produced as a 3D project. Filming took place on the Lake Wakamaru Reserve in Waikato, New Zealand. Also to note, like many Hanna-Barbera characters, in the original cartoon, Yogi's personality and mannerisms were based on a popular celebrity at the time. Art Carney's Ed Norton character on The Honeymooners was said to be Yogi's inspiration. His voice mannerism broadly mimics Carney as Norton. Carney, in turn, received influence from Borscht Belt and comedians of vaudeville. Now, the positive things that I can say about this movie is that it does have faithfulness to the original source material. And I think this version of Jellystone Park looks absolutely breathtaking. Plus, the CGI animation for Yogi and Boo Boo is pretty good, and it kind of reminds me of Scooby-Doo's live-action design for the live-action movies. Also, there are some funny and entertaining moments, like when Yogi, Boo Boo, Smith, and Rachel get caught in Raging Rapids, there's the fundraiser party scene, and when Yogi does a water skiing performance. 
which is later ruined when his cake catches fire. However, the only downsides about this film is that several other jokes in this movie aren't too funny, and the writing and plot has some hiccups. And that's basically all I have for Mustang notes, so let's move on to the cast. Yogi Bear is voiced by Dan Aykroyd, who got to be in Legends of Oz Dirty's Return and the first two Ghostbusters movies. And in case you're wondering, I'm deeply disappointed that the new movie has to be pushed to 2021. Darn you, coronavirus. Anyway, in my opinion, while Yogi is smart, sneaky, and humorous at times, like in the show, there are times when Yogi can be a tad clumsy, but at the same time, Yogi wants to do all that he can to help save Jellystone Park's trees. Plus, I think Dan Aykroyd does a good performance due to the fact that he grew up watching Yogi's TV show as a kid. Next we have Yogi's sidekick, Boo Boo, voiced by former NSYNC singer Justin Timberlake, who got to be in Shrek the Third, along with DreamWorks Trolls, and its sequel, Trolls World Tour. And I'm deeply excited when it hits home media in July. Anyway, Boo Boo has got to be my favorite character in the entire movie, due to him serving as the voice of reason, like in the show. Plus, Justin Timberlake surprisingly does a great job voicing him. Also, in the film, Boo Boo has a pet known as a frogmouth turtle, which is actually a plot device to save Jellystone Park from being shut down, due to said turtle being an endangered species. Ranger Smith, the head ranger of Jellystone Park, is played by Tom Cavanaugh. Like in the show, most of the time, Smith tries to prevent Yogi Bear and Boo Boo from stealing people's picnic baskets. However, Smith isn't completely enraged by Yogi's antics. Instead, he's a, a lot calmer in dealing with the matter. In the movie, with the park's 100th anniversary approaching, Smith hopes to save the park by holding a fundraiser party and give out park passes. But after Yogi accidentally screws everything up, Smith is relocated to Evergreen Park, which is actually a small urban enclave choked with litter and pollution. But later, when Smith finds out about Mayor Brown's evil plan, Smith joins up with Yogi, Boo Boo, and Rachel to help save the park. Next we come to Rachel Johnson, a nature documentary filmmaker and Ranger Smith's love interest, played by Anna Ferris, whom I remember from My Super Ex-Girlfriend, The Clyde of the Chance of Meatballs movies, and The Emoji movie. Now, Rachel came to Jellystone Park to film Yogi Bear because He's one of the rare bears who can talk. What I like about Rachel is that she has spent time with other animals, so much so that she made an entire documentary on learning a gorilla's rage and pinning down people like a snow leopard. Also, I like that Rachel has strapped a small camera to Boo Boo's bow tie in order to help with her video project. Which is not only how she found out about Boo Boo's frogmouth turtle, but it was also used 
to sabotage the mayor's press conference after his confession was filmed. <laughs> it's like they say, it's called a hustle, sweetheart. We also have Ranger Jones, played by T.J. Miller, best known from the first two How to Train Your Dragon movies, Big Hero 6, and Ready Player One. Jones is a junior park ranger who is tricked by Mayor Brown into getting Jellystone Park shut down, making the excuse that Jones will be the head ranger of the park. In my opinion, Jones is a pretty relatable character due to the fact that Smith doesn't really let him do too much compared to him. But after Jones realized that he was tricked, he makes amends with Smith. However, the only flaw with Jones is that sometimes T.J. Miller's acting sometimes has a few hiccups. Finally, we come to the villain, Mayor Brown, played by Andrew Daly, who got to be in the Brave Little Toaster to the Rescue and Middle School, The Worst Years of My Life. In this film, Brown wants to shut down Jellystone Park so that he can sell the logging rights in order to make money for his city and become governor. <sighs> fat chance of that. In my opinion, Brown is just like every other money-grubbing politician in the media. He's corrupt, greedy, and he's an absolute bully. Plus, his press conference video absolutely looks fake due to the fact that Brown only cares about power. <sighs> Made me glad that I don't support today's politicians. And now let's move on to my final words. Overall, Yogi Bear wasn't really a quote-unquote good movie, but it wasn't really terrible either. Sure, it was trying to stay faithful to the original cartoon, and there were some entertaining scenes, plus the voice actors do a great performance for Yogi and Boo Boo, and a few of the human characters were decent too. But the only flaws with this movie are several bad jokes, mixed writing, and a cliched plot. Still, I wouldn't mind watching this movie more than once, and I think you folks should give this movie a chance if you have childhood memories of Yogi Bear on TV. And so, I give this movie a 61% out of 100. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to join me next time when we look at a dinosaur movie from Disney. Mustang Power. <laughs>